Let's go through a very quick video to explain a few things about uh, aesthetic organization in your widgets. Uh, weirdly enough, it was kind of weird, hard and to, to find the details of everything. Maybe I didn't search correctly, but this is what I came up with. So, our label here. We're not going to just use a text. We're going to give away more information than that. For example, we are going to say that this label is going to be font size, let's say maybe 30, uh, so it's really different from the standard, and the color, and I just took a random color online, um, sorry, which I like, and it's going to be this one. Uh, so now let's try it out. And you see that our label is way bigger than before. Uh, you could set this font size in a relative way compared to the size of your screen so that you know it adapts at some point. But we're not here for that. So this is how you can change your, your label. You've got lots of other things that you can check out so uh, feel free to do it. Uh, next up is going to be uh, this uh, text input. <clears throat> so you don't only have multi-line, you also have the ability to change the padding of what you're writing down. <clears throat> Let me showcase this. So the padding Y is going to affect how um, your text appears in the box f vertically. And so let's see what that means. If I type here, hello there, and hello there here, you can see the difference. Like you, you're padded, okay, 30 from the top and then 20 from the bottom. What does that mean? Well, if I shrink this, you see that my hello there is covered by the box way faster than the one below it, which is a way smaller padding. Uh, if I get my padding down to let's say 10 it's still going to be more than the standard of the app but it's going to cover it pretty fast so this is for the padding of your text input uh, then uh, we might we could do it for everything else I'm not gonna bother here uh, but let's talk a little bit about the button our button here is going to take this text which is send and uh, let's make it a size hint which is something you're going to see often in uh, in KV and it takes a tuple of values between 0 and 1. You'll see what that does. We'll say that bold is true. You can affect it this way too. And we're going to change the background color equal to and uh, let's copy and paste this because who cares. This is an example. Uh, okay. And here we are. You can then play with a lot of different details because a button has different states so you can change the color on click, on release, a lot of things like that. Um, but we're not here for that. Th those were like basic ways of reshaping information. So inside your text box, your buttons, your labels, uh, backgrounds, etc, etc. Um, size hint here is um, subtle and kind of hard to see so maybe I'll come back on that when we'll work on the kiwi files uh, I guess because right now I'm not very sure I don't want to say something stupid um, so yeah here we are this is very short it's just about like how to change the colors how to change the the, the text the, the and various little uh, stuff in there uh, I'll dig more into that and try to make something pretty for next time, which is going to be a little more complicated, I guess. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.